They are the bane of the gardener's existence. We're talking about dandelions, but instead of killing them with weed killer, why not think about eating them? Yeah, that's a thing. Maria Gennaro explains. Oh, we're having some fun here. We're talking about dandelions and most people hate them in your, their yard, but we're going to tell you why you may want to rethink dandelions and one of which is bees. Am I right, Barbara? Yes. From the SPCA. Bees love dandelions. It's their first food and bees are really in danger right now, Maria. Yeah. Um, they're saying the Center for Biological Diversity says that bees, the 1400 species that we have here in the United States, that nearly half are um, threatened and that their populations are declining and about a quarter are in, at threat for extinction. So this is a big deal. It really is because people don't realize no bees, no food. I mean, they are one of the number one pollinator and one of their favorite foods, dandelions, Jackie Alberella. Yes, the dandelion that most people do not like. But you know, Italians, we've loved them for years because we eat them. But the thing is, without using pesticides, you can get rid of the dandelions. And as we move more closer and closer to not using pesticides, particularly on our lawns, um, an easy way to get rid of the dandelion, just take your shovel, put it in the soil, or there is this kind of tool that you can use, poke it in the soil, go like this, it pops right out. And you'll hear a pop as it comes out. The dandelions, even though you might not like them, because of this giant root system that they have, they really aerate the soil. So that's actually good for a lawn. So they're good for your lawns, they're good for the bees, the pesticides are horrible for everyone. And I was saying it may be a good idea to grow a pot of dandelions because the different foods that you can make from dandelions are just amazing. So Jackie brought in some seeds. Growing them are super easy. The seed looks just like lettuce seed. And literally, all you need to do is put it in some light potting soil, cover it up, don't bury it too deeply, just cover it up, keep it watered, put it in a sunny window, and bingo, you're gonna have a beautiful pot of yellow flowers all summer. A beautiful pot of yellow flowers that the bees will like, and you will like too. Now, I made this salad. This is with dandelion greens, um, strawberries, and mango with a raspberry balsamic vinaigrette. Mm. Mm. And what, oh gosh. That's good. So good. And what you may not know is the whole flower is edible, including the root, the root you can roast. These here are the dandelion flowers that I used in a tempura. Taste this with a little bit of a sauce and the sauce is a, a mayonnaise horse uh, radish sauce. Wow. Yeah. So good. Mm-hmm. And you can't beat the price. <laughs> <laughs> you just go out into your garden. I also want to say before we go, one of the things that the Italians always do, they make dandelion wine. And I want to thank Mike Rollo who made this for us. So to the bees, to the, to bees. the bees, and to the dandelions. Chin chin. Chin chin. chin. If you'd like uh, uh, more information on tasty treats and also how to plant plants that for uh, pollinating that bees especially like, you can check out our website. It will be under the story along with my recipes for dandelion flower fries, which are excellent. Okay, I, I don't understand why you made these things when I wasn't here because <laughs> she's been talking about this story and she was like, oh my gosh, these salads really are so amazing good. and even the fried little flowers, everybody loves them. I'm like, must be nice. The whole plant is edible, so yeah. just don't use pesticides. They're horrible for everyone and everything. Yeah, and you said in the newsroom went like that, yeah. right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, they're really easy to make too, so I'll put that all in there for you. Sounds great. And today, maybe not so much the morning, but later this afternoon.